today we shall discuss some questions of exercises. Physical and chemical changes. Exercise question one. When making soda is mixed with lemon juice, bubbles are formed with evolution of gas. What type of chemical change? What type of change is it? Give another example. Baking soda is sodium bicarbonate compound. Lemon juice is an acidic substance. There is found citric acid in lemon juice. Whenever carbonates or bicarbonates are mixed with acids, there is always a chemical change taking place which gives out carbon dioxide gas. This gas forms bubbles of carbon dioxide. Which way gas comes out in the form of bubbles? Another example is when we add some acid, hydrochloric acid, which we use for cleaning tiles and wash basins and toilets. When we use this acid, hydrochloric acid, put some few drops of dilute hydrochloric acid over chalk powder. Also, we get bubbles of carbon dioxide.
जो अगर इस कैल्शियम कार्बोनेट प्लस हाइड्रोकोरिक एसिड दिस एक्सीएल वी गेट कैल्शियम क्लोराइड कैल्शियम क्लोराइड इज सॉल्ट ऑफ कैल्शियम एंड आउट ऑफ दिस एच टू सीओ थ्री we get water plus carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is a gas which when comes out form bubbles There is a weak of the candle when when the light break the weak of the candle the heat of the burning wick will make the wax of the candle to melt. so melting of the wax melting of the wax is a physical change because wax from solid on heating turns into liquid form when this liquid rises up so when the wax burns before burning it turns from liquid into gaseous form and then it burns so the wax on heating turns from solid to liquid from liquid to gas and then it start burning with the help of the oxygen of air and forms carbon dioxide which goes out in the air thus the conversion of gaseous wax on burning with the help of the oxygen of air to result in carbon dioxide is a chemical change so carbon plus oxygen forms carbon dioxide wax is nothing but a compound of carbon and hydrogen it is called a hydrocarbon so carbon on burning forms carbon dioxide and hydrogen on burning on burning forms water vapor so Hydrogen on burning forms water. 
carbon dioxide in gas goes out, water vapor also on the wind goes out. So thus, hydro carbon of wax turns into carbon dioxide and water vapor from which it is not easy to get carbon and hydrogen back. Therefore, this burning is a chemical process. That is, conversion of solid wax to liquid wax, liquid wax to gaseous wax is a physical change. Setting of curve is a chemical change. When we add Semi-solid. Thus, the liquid milk, milk, which is not sour, turns into semi-solid curd, which is sour in taste. But from this curd, we cannot get milk back. Therefore, it is a chemical change. So setting of curd is a chemical change because a new substance curd which is sour in test is formed. Burning of food and cutting of food are considered different changes. Burning of food is a chemical change because Wood turns into charcoal and ash, and carbon dioxide is given out. From charcoal, ash, and carbon dioxide, we cannot get wood back. Thus, new substances are formed, heat is given out, so that light is also given out. Heat and light energy are produced, and because new substances are formed, it is a chemical change. Whereas the cutting of food is a physical change, though we cannot get entire wood back, but there is no result, no resultant new substance. The wood before cutting and the wood after cutting remains one and the same. No new substance is formed. No exchange of energy of heat or light, anything like that is evolved. Or absorb no exchange of energy of heat or light. Simply the form of wood is changed. Wood in the log form is converted into wood in pieces form, but the wood substance remains wood substance itself after cutting also. Thus it is a physical change. Explain how the painting of iron is helpful to prevent rusting. For rusting, a 
oxygen is required, which is available from air for resting moisture or water is required. So, on painting iron articles, the surface of iron articles is separated from air. Oxygen of air cannot affect the surface of iron. Humidity of air also cannot affect the surface of iron. Therefore, the iron does not rust after painting. If we keep a knife or a blade painted all over and keep another blade as it is without painting and allow these blades to remain in humid or moisturous air for some time, say a few days, we will find that the blade which was without painting has rusted, whereas the blade which was painted remains as it is. If you remove the paint, the fresh new blade will be observed. observed. Thus, rusting stops the contact of iron from air and humidity. Therefore, it helps to stop rusting. So, new students, try to learn this various type of changes and prepare them. Thank you.